World War 3, it may be coming soon, maybe not, but one thing's for sure, it's going to be pretty bad. So where on earth will we be safe? Well, I'm betting right here. Switzerland. With exploding bridges and anti-tank guns disguised as rocks, this little country has a wide array of tricks up their sleeves to defend their nation from invasion. They even have a way to survive total nuclear attack. Stick around to find out how. But first, let's talk about some smaller explosives. Luckily, the Swiss already have amazing natural defence in the form of some rather large hills. With the Jura Mountains to the north, the Alps to the south, and lakes to the east and west, there are only very few access points into the populated areas of the country. In order to defend these points, the Swiss decide to rig every bridge, tunnel, road, and railroad that led into the country with explosives. They even built disguised cannons to point at major transport links and hit TNT in cliff sides to block the roads below. In an event where Switzerland is being invaded, they could flick the switch, exploding all 3,000 access points into Swiss territory, instantly sealing themselves off from the outside world. Okay, hold on a minute, isn't that a little bit overkill? Well, you see, Switzerland is kind of obsessed with staying neutral, so much so they aren't members of any unions, except this one. But it wasn't always this way. At one point, the Swiss were such fierce fighters that other countries would hire them to fight their wars for them. But after a loss to Napoleon in 1798, they decided to try and avoid war altogether, and they haven't had a single war or conflict in over 200 years since that day. And this is how they did it. To keep the country safe, the Swiss employed a strategy called armed neutrality. This required maintaining a sizable army to allow it to defend itself against foreign incursion, and to make it such a hassle to invade, it acts as a deterrent. During World War II, Switzerland was almost completely surrounded by Axis-occupied territory. Shortly after the start of the war, the Swiss government mobilised its entire army of 430,000 combat troops and 210,000 support troops in just three days. The Swiss wanted to make it clear to Germany that any potential benefits of invading are far outweighed by the costs, including loss of trade and loss of lives. During World War II, they even threatened to poison the Rhine River that flowed into Germany if Hitler decided to attack. Not to mention, the entire country is booby-trapped to hell. The Swiss have built 26,000 bunkers and fortified positions, including anti-tank guns, anti-aircraft guns, and machine gun nests in and around the Alps. Many of these have been completely camouflaged, like this machine gun nest disguised as a barn, connected by underground tunnel to an anti-tank gun hidden in the building on the right, and this cannon disguised as what looks like a shed. They were so dedicated to keep these things hidden, they even built anti-tank guns disguised as rocks, camouflaged among the other rocks in the mountains. Even if tanks do manage to push through the flatter regions of the country, they could be met with these tank traps, called Drakensahn, meaning dragon tooths. These Toblerone-shaped blocks of concrete were built all over Switzerland during World War II. Their purpose was to stop tank invasions. Although they can still be blown up, they can massively delay the advance of enemy tanks trying to invade. Switzerland has the ability to mobilise 200,000 people in just 72 hours due to their strict mandatory military service. All men must serve in the military for 170 days and receive basic training. Afterwards, they are entered into the reserves and get to keep their rifles and equipment at home just in case they are needed. That's all great, but what makes Switzerland the safest place to be during a potential nuclear war? Well, for starters, all residential buildings built after 1978 require a nuclear shelter capable of surviving a 12 megaton blast from a distance of 700 meters. They have a total of 8.6 million fallout bunkers, including gigantic public shelters, making them the only country on Earth with enough nuclear bunkers to house its entire population and then some. Through all these defenses, the Swiss have managed to stay neutral for over 200 years and will likely continue to do so. Not to mention, I now know exactly where to go when World War III starts. 